Hello. Welcome to EasyVB, Tutorial 22. In this tutorial we will examine the label control, one of the simplest controls in Visual Basic. Before we go on to explain in detail, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and even comment, in support of the channel. Thank you. Ok. So what is a label control, and how may we use it? That is best explained by example. So create a new Windows Forms application, and first of all we will place a single label control on it. To find the label control, go over to the toolbox, open up there, common controls, submenu, scroll down and click on, label. Then click on the form. You will now see the label control. It is by default named, label 1, and, by default, has the text, label 1. A label, as its name suggests, is just intended to, provide a label or banner on the form. Perhaps, a title, or instruction, or other information bringing attention to some feature of the application. The label control, like other controls, has properties that we may edit, so let's do that to make our label more visible. Go to the Properties menu, and change the back color to, Aqua. Change the text font size to 16, and bold to True. Then change the border style to, Fixed Single. Now that looks better, we can see our label clearly now. When we examine the label properties we can observe that the auto size property is, true. This means that the label will automatically resize itself to fit whatever text it carries. To demonstrate that, go to the text property and write some new text. There, we can see that the label has resized. We can also disable the auto size property, by changing it to false, and when we do that, we get the 8 sizing squares appear, that allow us to stretch and resize the label as we want. With auto size false, we can also reposition the text within the label, by editing the text align property, which is, top left, by default. Let's try changing that to, middle center. Ok. We are getting an understanding about labels and their properties. Although labels are not buttons, we can still create a click event for labels. Let's do that now. First change the label text to, click here to make the form yellow. Double click on the label to create a click event handler. Within the click event handler write the code. me dot back color equals color dot yellow. Run the application and click on the label. As expected the form color changes to yellow. Ok. That was just a demo of using a label like a button, but let's create another simple application using labels in other ways. Delete the click event code from, label 1. Change the text on label 1 to, please type your name below.
change the label's auto size property back to true. Add a text box to the form. Change its name to TB1 and change its font size to 16. Add two buttons to the form. Rename the buttons, BTN Enter, and, BTN Clear. Change their font size to 16, and bold to true. Change their texts to, enter, and, clear. Now add another label to the form and position it below the text box. Change its font type to, Mouser, the font size to 50, and font italic to true. Change the four color property, which is the text color, to purple. Create a click event for each button by double clicking on them. Within the click event handler for BTN Enter, write three lines of code. Label 2, dot, back color, equals, color, dot, dark sea green. Label 2, dot, border style, equals, border style, dot, fixed single. Label 2, dot, text, equals, open quotes, welcome, space, close quotes, and, tb1, dot, text. Within the click event handler for BTN Clear, Write four lines of code. TB1, dot, clear, empty brackets. Label 2, dot, back color, equals, system colors, dot, control. Label 2, dot, border style, equals, border style, dot, none. Label 2, dot, text, equals, nothing. Finally go to label 2 properties and remove all of its text. Run the application. Type a name in the text box and click enter. Click clear and type another name. OK. That was an introduction to the label control and a very simple application using labels. You can go ahead now on your own and apply labels, as you may need in your own applications. One further feature of labels worth being aware of is that they can support images. Let's demonstrate that quickly. Add a third label to the form. Change its back color to orange.
change its font type to Comic Sans MS. Change its font size to 30. Change font bold to true. And change the font 4 color property to magenta. Change the label's auto size property to false and stretch it out into a larger portrait rectangle. Change the label's text to My Dog and change the text align property to bottom center. Add an image to the label, in this case the image is my dog, which, for this tutorial, we added to the resources earlier. Run the application to see how that looks. Okay. It's just an image of a dog with some associated text. This can be useful, because it allows both an image and text to be displayed within one control. However, the label control is quite limited with images, as it does not allow image stretching, or tiling, as say, picture boxes and some other controls do. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe.